This past Sunday, a man was brutally stabbed and murdered in downtown Austin by a man who should have never been wandering the streets of Austin to begin with. Hilario Adrian is in the Travis County Jail tonight on a $1 million bond in connection with the murder early Sunday. But the Austin Police Association says the murder should not have happened. Here's the plot twist, though. Adrian had already been arrested in April of this year for aggravated assault when he got into another argument and threatened someone with a hatchet. But because the district attorney failed to take the case to a grand jury in time, the bond for Adrian had to be lowered to a dollar and he was released. Here's what we know from the arrest affidavits. The affidavit in the assault case says Adrian accused the victim, Philip Peary, of stealing something and produced a golf club. Peary produced a knife and Adrian hit him with the golf club before grabbing a hatchet. The document says Adrian followed Peary while hitting him with the golf club and brandishing the hatchet. Peary told the detective. He thought he was going to have to use the knife, but police arrived at the scene before he did. Adrian told police they were showing off their weapons and playing around when Peary insulted the golf club, which is when Adrian says he began to attack in earnest. Both men list their home address as the Trinity Center, an organization that provides services for the homeless. Adrian has a record of 57 arrests. Peary, 17 arrests. That's a major, major rap sheet. Randy Sutton is a former lieutenant with the Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Force and the founder of the Wounded Blue, an organization that helps law enforcement officers injured in the line of duty. The victim is the one who is the essential, you know, prime witness. And and that comes down to what, what were the circumstances of that assault? Uh, was there mutual combat involved? Was there, you know, what was the the, the results? How, how serious were the injuries? APA says the DA's office never brought the assault case to a grand jury and Adrian was not charged at the time. I reached out to the district attorney's office who told me they couldn't comment on the assault case. But Sutton says it's clear the Austin Police Association is frustrated. The Austin Police Association, that is, um, came out publicly and did a, did a, uh, a video about this. What it shows is there their absolute disgust with Garza and their frustration. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and get the latest news by downloading the CBS Austin News app.